today we're doing something special. We created some songs using AI and then had them reimagined by talented human musicians. Now here's where you come in. We've prepared sound samples of both the AI created as well as human created versions of these songs. Your challenge is to listen and tell us, can you distinguish which one is which? Is it artificial intelligence or is it human? To delve deeper, we spoke with one of the musicians involved in this project, and they're going to share their insights on AI in music, its impact on creativity, job security, and the future of the industry. But before I share that with you, just drop a comment below if you think that you are going to be able to tell the difference. Now, if you're not a big commenter, just drop your favorite emoji down there or just say hi. Now I'm going to play a sample and you tell me, is this artificial intelligence or is it human? Now this is song 1A. From silicon to circuits, it's a magic flow This ram's a masterpiece of technological show We're pushing the limits, where data expands In the realm of 1TB, we hold the commands 1TB, a ram, an unstoppable force We're riding the waves at the digital course In a world that's virtual, we take the lead With a terabyte of ram, we're free to talk speed So here we stand, in the digital land With 1TB, a ram, it's grand, understand We're the kings and queens of the data scene so what did you think about that? I don't see your comments down there. Go ahead and type something down below. There we go. It's a good guess. Now this is song one. In the world of bits and bytes, we rave supreme. Our rams attack dream, a high speed stream. From sunrise to moon in the digital sea. One terabyte of rams that's our data free. From silicon to circuits, it's a magic flow. This rams a masterpiece, a technological show. We are pushing the limits where data expands. In the realm of one terabyte, we hold the command. One terabyte of ram and unstoppable force. We are riding the waves in the digital course. In the world that's virtual, we take the lead. With a terabyte of RAM, we feed the top speed So here we stand in the digital land With one TV of RAM, it's grand understand We're the kings and queens of the data scene With terabytes in our hands, we live in the dream Now those are some fascinating insights, right? The blend of AI and human creativity is not just reshaping music creation, but also raising important questions about the essence of artistry and the future of the music industry. I don't know about you, but I can't tell you when I bought any of these CDs, it was that long ago. Before we jump back into AI's impact on the music industry, I want to give a big thanks to our sponsor, Brilliant.org. Brilliant is an interactive learning platform perfect for those who enjoy learning by doing. They offer courses in math, science, computer science, and artificial intelligence, including how large language models work, which ties right into today's topic. What I love about Brilliant is the hands-on approach. You're not just watching, you're actively solving problems and getting instant feedback, making complex ideas easy to grasp. And right now, if you sign up with the link below, you'll get 20% off an annual subscription and a 30-day free trial. Thanks to Brilliant for supporting this video. Check them out and start your learning journey today. So this is Song 2A. In a world of networking, what connections I made? This is a tale of speed and innovation, let me say. 10 gig network, taking us to new heights. What chose H, where are they made? And that's all right, we ain't shining so bright. Once upon a time in a data center far away. There were servers and switches, craving low latency. But alone came 10 gig, a game changer indeed. Breaking barriers, fulfilling the need. Speed of life. This is song 2B. In the world of network, where connections are made, there's a tale of speed and innovation, let me say. 10 gig networking, taking us to new heights. Virtualization, we're body MA and SRIO, we shining so bright once upon a time. In a data center far away, there were servers and switches craving low latency. But along came 10 gig, a game changer indeed. Breaking barriers, fulfilling the need. Speed of life. What you're thinking i'm thinking the same thing wow but did you get the answers right now since i spent literally hundreds of dollars to make this video make sure you slap that like button you made it this far and i really do appreciate it and if you'd like to help contribute i got links down below too introduce yourself real quick here on camera and tell us a little bit uh, about yourself my name is mclaren marasha uh i am an artist uh, music creative i do music production i do vocal production, I do mixing, mastering, just as a, as a side gig, but I'm mostly passionate about 
the wrapping. I got some questions that I used artificial intelligence to come up with. So tell me okay. what you think, uh, if these are good questions or not, but how do you think artificial intelligence, especially large language models, is currently impacting the music industry like right now? I think it's it has a good impact, a positive impact, because um, it's now easier for like an artist to actually you know, come up with lyrics. It's easy to prompt an algorithm to give you like rhyming words, for example, and just different pockets to, to use. In what ways do you think AI could be used to enhance live performance and music experiences? I actually would not know, but I think on the artist's side, uh, because they can do like different vocal inflections. So you could be like, I want to have same tone as maybe this past artist or like Michael Jackson. Whatever you say on the microphone, it inflicts. Uh, I think if something like that actually would exist, that'd be pretty cool. How do you personally feel about the future of music in a AI driven world? Do you see it as an exciting evolution or a concerning shift and why? Um, it's a concerning shift as, as a creator myself, because now you have, you know, anyone who can just create a track using AI. And meanwhile, for me, especially, I look at music as like a spiritual, creative thing, like something you're actually putting your soul into, you know, you're an, an extension of you. For the artist, it's, it's pretty concerning because now you're in competition with someone who consider fake, you know, someone who's not actually, oh, hasn't gone through like the creative, journey that you have, you know, learning okay. whatever instrument you did to whatever skill. Yeah, I, was, I would say my, my stance is concerned. There are good parts, but yeah, concerning overall. Well, I remember yeah. in the, I think it was the early 2000s, there was some bands that came out that they basically just like picked the people and they had the music already created and then they just assembled the group and released the music. Yes. So they still had to like learn how to sing and dance and everything, but they were basically just like given everything on a silver plate okay. essentially yes. like, and then, you know, they create the group. I don't know, it's, it's interesting. I, I, I think that probably some more of that will probably occur. I don't know if, do you remember Millie Vanilli? No. I think it was in the early nineties. They were a group, they were caught lip syncing. Okay. In my one terabyte of RAM music video that I sent you there, I basically just Millie Vanilli the whole thing, and then that's all AI. <laughs> wow. so, and then I just edited the video together. It was fun. It was more of <laughs> just like, can I make a music video about one terabyte of RAM? And here's like all my ideas and spent some time building a prompt and then hit the button and boom, it kicked it out. While you were like speaking there, like I, I literally thought of uh, like an answer to that previous question you had on, you know, like live performances. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you remember 2015 when they had a uh, like Tupac hologram on stage. Oh, I did not um, know that. I'm going to have to look for that. That's going to be cool. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I think okay, to, to make a hologram on somebody, or even this, um, there was a rapper called FN Mecca or something like a year or two ago, was more, like completely generated by AI. Rapper, virtual influencer. Well, maybe they're about to uh, blow up here with the full AI. Um, yeah, that, 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 was, that was just it. So thought down, but just had to. <laughs> yeah, I think that that would be cool. Like, I got to look up the hologram here with uh, Tupac, but I think it would be interesting, like symphony halls could do like live performances by Beethoven and have like a hologram. Yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Oh, wow. Oh, that was in Coachella. That's out by me. Oh, I'm bummed out. I missed that, man. <laughs> that would have been so cool. How do you think artificial intelligence, especially large language models are currently impacting the music industry? Like, is it impacting them now? Or is it something that's like, no. Not quite yet. Well, you said language models? Yeah, so LLMs or large language models. What are so those? like ChatGPT uses a LLM. Right? Oh, okay. LLM. Oh, okay. Currently Good. right now in the music industry, do you think that this is impacting it? Has it disrupted it yet? Or do you think that's something that's right around the corner? Um, I think it's it's impacting. It's something that's already in, on, on, on the go. Giving a prompt to come up with lyrics, lyrics to the main element of making a song. Getting a song concept, I think they're already, something already taking a huge market tool. And then in your opinion, what are the most significant benefits that AI brings to music creation and production? Time, it's, it's easier to just, uh, it's quicker. You, you have whatever music piece you want in a matter of seconds. Whereas like previously you need to, you know, cause creating music is, or, or, or piecing 
a production, it's, it's really time consuming. You need to arrange this, you need to come up with this, come up with the code and all that. But now it's like you can just prompt whatever you want uh, and then it just, you know, it just comes out the way, maybe not perfectly, but it, it's, it's something, you know, it gives you like a, something, somewhere to start off. Okay. And then something you can perfect later. Mostly it's time efficient, definitely, yeah, less thinking on the artist side, just more time to be creative with your prompt. Are there any concerns or challenges you foresee with increasing the use of AI in music? Laziness. Laziness. Uh, laziness. <laughs> Because it's, it's really scary, like how easy it is to get. Uh, for example, you know, if I'm a Fiverr rapper, right? Someone tells me I want this to be done. I want a song that's A, B, C, D. I could literally just copy paste the whole prompt and, you know, yeah. Okay, I guess maybe that's not a disadvantage, but it, I, I think just your in creative integrity, you know, yeah, it could lead to like over reliance on in order to create. So in the long run, as a, as a creative, your, your brain adapts to, to like, you know, I can only work when there's ChatGPT. I can't think of this on my own. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that's like the biggest disadvantage I, I, I can think of off top right now. As things evolve, there's going to be uh, more and more local based large language models that you can run locally. So kind of like Fable Diffusion, for example, you can run NVIDIA GPU, you can create your own images just from a text prompt, just like if you're going yes. to be using Dolly or uh, any other, you know, online image generation creator, even Bing does it now, you know, I mean, yeah. Bing used to be the punchline to a lot of computer jokes about searches. Now they can generate images for you for free on the fly, right? The thing is, though, is that chat GPT is offline, then let's say you have a deadline and it's like how rapid things will get developed will continue to snowball. If somebody comes to you and says, hey, I want to create an album, what does that process look like currently today? And how much time does that take versus if AI was you know, completely adopted and that same person came to you, how much faster do you think that would occur? So yeah, yeah I'll say previously like three months to get everything from scratch, but now it can literally be like two weeks, up to two weeks to have a whole album. Because now it's gonna be like from, from the first day, we just prompt the soundscape. We prompt this for the few, next few days. And then we spend the next week just recording. Yeah, versus the, like the three months I said, uh, yeah, it could really, take that tweaks to do a whole album. If not less. I've got an idea. If this video takes off, so if it gets, you know, tens of thousands of likes, then uh, hopefully it'll make enough money to be able to pay to rehire you. And we could do like a baseline to create an entire album. And I would love to hear from anybody okay. that's watching this video right now, drop a comment and tell us what they would like to, you know, see and hear for like an album, because I'd like to say challenge accepted, but right now my bank account yeah. <laughs> kind of you know prohibits that. I am also curious, like if we design an entire album including like artwork and you know like a, a full cd yeah. right what that would look like cradle to grave you know using ai to be able to just like knock it out but what are your thoughts on that is that something that you'd like to yeah, that, like to do yeah like that, that's i'm always up for a challenge um yeah i don't think it's ever been done before or at least publicly so yeah i'm curious too like how that goes all right yeah. well uh yeah drop a drop a comment um see see let us know if there's something you'd like to see could you describe to the viewers briefly uh kind of like how we met and kind of like the process of everything from start to finish went yeah so we met on fiverr you took an interest in one of my gigs and uh, yeah you're quite nice you're very descriptive on what you wanted you're very patient yeah like it honestly didn't take me like a long time to complete the order i think it was like the same day or something if I'm not yeah, mistaken. It was the same day i was blown away i'm like <laughs> how, how did you do it so fast <laughs> <laughs> yeah because um, I, I did hire a couple other people kind of like staggered to do other work yeah. for me but and another one came out really really well but it took a lot of time i guess that brings me to another question which would be doing what you do how could you harness like what i gave you because i just created a track so i, I created yes. an entire song using artificial intelligence that i just spent you know designing the prompt and then kind of massaging it a yes. little bit making it flow a little bit better and then send that to you with that type of workflow like how can you harness ai with what i gave you to be more efficient with your time 
time. So anything that you're looking forward to with AI that would help you do what you do? Yeah, definitely, yeah, prompting, just giving a prompt and getting a, like an outline of a flow pattern, words to use or words to rhyme with, getting a rhythm, a cadence ready, having that one less thing to do because that one thing can make or break a song. When you create a song for somebody, are you basically like writing the sheet music, but like on a computer kind of thing? Yeah, so I'm doing it like digitally. I'm, I'm drawing notes by ear, like the melody, like I want to put a C note here. I'm doing it like digitally. Italy. Is there anything that you'd like to shout out to my viewers here? Thank you for having me. If you want your song done, produced, mixed, mastered, McLaren Music on Fiverr. You can also follow me on Instagram, McLaren.music. Cool. Uh, if you want to keep up with whatever I have going on, um, I'll be releasing a song every week starting soon. Stay tuned. And is that using AI or not using AI? <laughs> uh, for now, not using AI. Not using uh, AI. Yeah. I <laughs> think hopefully in the future. Yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, I'll be dropping, when I start dropping more um, at a faster pace, you know why. Thank you so much. And uh, it's great to uh, have you in this video and I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. Now, did you figure out which music was artificial intelligence and which was a actual human being? Well, let's compare your answers. Song 1A was artificial intelligence. Were you right? Song 1B was an actual person. Song 2A was also an actual person. And Song 2B, that was artificial intelligence. Hey, real quick, uh, right up here, YouTube says that you want to watch this, so make sure you click on that.